You know, I'll never understand why nobody likes that grill. Huh. Oh well. I've been hounded by so many people for so long that they hate this grill and prefer this grill that I finally said, oh man, shut up. I'll make one. So that is what this video is about. Hey everyone, Ampro Engineering here, and after that incredibly upbeat introduction, I wanted to show you the all new early Blackfoot style grill insert for the um, the 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 Blackfoot. It's, it's for the Blackfoot. Oh no, wait a minute, it's not. It's also for the Ranger. I forgot about that. One. That's a thing. I forgot about that. So, some people love this particular grill style it definitely has its flair i have a a new built blackfoot with this grill yeah i know it has holes in it i don't want to talk about it um but i happen to love this one too so I'm, i mean i could go either way it doesn't really bother me but i know a lot of people do like the early one so you now have the ability to take this grill right here which is available i think it's on the blackfoot three you get your exacto knife and a dremel uh, and you cut out the insert. I've got photographs of me doing this. So I will show you uh, what is entailed. It's ridiculously easy. I thought for sure this was going to break or this was going to look jagged and nasty. Honestly, you're looking at about 10 minutes worth of work and it came out like a champ. We start off with a nice brand new grill. So you take this brand new thing you run this razor blade along the inside edge a couple of times, maybe about three, four times, and then you turn that into this, which is now worth nothing. So what I did is I just had the Dremel and kind of went uh, you know, back and forth across the center section and did a couple of vertical striations and then made another notch vertically so I could break out that small piece that you see there. It doesn't have to look nice. That edge that we uh, carved earlier will allow us to break a chunk away at a time and bring us this really sharp edge here. Um, and then from there, you can see here that that horizontal uh, slit, I made some additional vertical ones and broke them out piece by piece. And take some time, this is kind of how it ended up. I did no finishing work to this uh, grill here that you see in the image. And I gotta tell you, it really came out nice. So take your time and you're gonna love the result. And then you get this piece right here, which fills in the grill. Now, I want to show you something really cool about this thing here. I'm going to tilt it. Ooh. It's a real grill. Now, that's done for two reasons. One, it's cool. Right? That's the most important thing. Two, it's cheaper that way. And that was really important because I had to go with a highly detailed plastic that you see here. Um, this is... I'm very sorry about this. This sucker is expensive. Um, this volume of plastic and these dimensions for the high detail plastic on Shapeways is unfortunately not the cheapest thing in the world. A nylon one is uh, under development, but I suspect that you're not going to get this kind of detail here. I also want to mention to you that these are completely unfinished. So this is what you would receive with this kind of resolution. I printed these at the office. Uh, Shapeways one is going to be a translucent material, so it's not going to be black, but the finish will be identical. These are accurate down to 0.2 millimeters, so very, very highly detailed. And like I so said, you can see the surface finish here is very smooth. A light sanding on this, shoot it with some low gloss black, stick it in there, and you're ready to rumble. Now, you might have noticed something. You flip this grill over, that's where the mounts are. So, I've just removed those. What I've done to remedy that, if you turn this over here, I have these posts. Okay, 
So you glue this in and I'm giving you my recommendations. I'm sure many of you are, are much better modelers than I am, but to shoot this with a nice matte black is my recommendation. You can paint whatever color you want. You want to then apply a bead of modeling glue along the perimeter here. A very high quality modeling glue. I would very much recommend against super glue because super glue will outgas and make that, that white fogginess and that's the last thing you want. Make the chrome all gross. It'll make this thing all gross. So use a high quality modeling glue. You may also want to scrape off any chrome residue that you'll find over here because that'll prevent proper bonding. You plop that in here, let it dry thoroughly, and then we install it. I'm not going to glue this in place because this this isn't mine, <laughs> so I don't want to I don't want to mess that up for my uh, my buddy who probably wants to paint this. So here's the Blackfoot grill uh, body. Excuse me. We're going to install this guy here. Okay. Again, pretend it's not going to fall out. So you want to put your screws in here like you normally would. And there's a couple of things here that I want you to notice, and I'm going to do my best to show you. The Blackfoot body has this post right here, which allows the grill to bottom out so that you don't accidentally push it in too far when you're trying to align this thing. So I didn't want to bother that. So there's a little matching notch right here. Okay, so when the grill has been installed, it seats right with that notch in the middle and there's very, very, very little room on either side. Most importantly, I'm gonna try and do this so you can see it. Okay, so that hole on the on this little brace here lines up with this hole on the body uh, uh, on the body on both sides. You can see it right there. Lines right up. So you are going to have the grill mounted properly, nice and rigid, from the original side mounts and these new upper mounts. So you don't have to use that L bracket any longer. So there is your grill. Let's try and get a shot from the front with it in there with this lovely Blackfoot body, and there you have it. I know for all of you uh, out there that are scalers, I'm just kind of envisioning my next project, maybe a little radiator and a cooling fan back there. That'd be pretty slick, but one thing at a time. You are probably wondering what kind of durability we're talking about with this. This is a very, very rigid plastic and it may have some some flexibility. I'm feeling, I mean, if, I'm, if I can aim it here, you can kind of see it's some flexibility, but this is uh, more brittle than flexible. If you've got a basher, just, uh, I personally would, would just leave that grill in there. If you've got a scaler, this I think will work excellent. I mean, you're, and I, I say it's brittle, but I mean, you're really going to have to get something straight through there to break this grill. Um, so it, it has some nice rigidity to it. The detail is through the roof, but I just want everybody to know that this is not made out of nylon. This is a uh, very dense, low flexibility, high rigidity plastic, cosmetically beautiful, but you're not going to have that resilience that you would with the injection molded ABS that this guy is here. If you want this proper look, if you want a nice cool radiator that actually has a grill, well, there you go. I hope you all enjoyed the video. This project was actually a, a lot more fun than I had anticipated. And most importantly, I can finally send these to my friends and they can stop annoying me. Please subscribe. I've got lots and lots of videos coming up in the future. I've actually got a, a really nice Cloudbuster grill that I'm gonna do uh, probably with the next video. I have a Facebook and Instagram page. It is Ampro Engineering for both. And if you have a, uh, any questions, please go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, you can also find me uh, and my store on Shapeways. There's a link at the end of this video as well as in the description. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next time.